Hi, my name is Benjamin Pazero, and I'm a software developer for Rational Team Concert. But I'm also the team lead of an open source project called RSSO, which is a newsreader for feeds. Recently, we decided to move our entire project data to Rational Team Concert. So what we did is we migrated our existing data from Bugzilla and Subversion into RTC. Now, if our users go to our website, they will notice that on the right-hand side they can easily access the artifacts of Rational Team Concert, including the project dashboard, work items, and the plans. If they go to our development page, they get an overview of all the artifacts that we support in Rational Team Concert, including work items, the dashboard, iteration plans, the full source code, and continuous builds. So a typical entry page for our users would be the project dashboard. So without having to log in, they can access all of our data in a read-only mode. And the project area dashboard gives them a nice overview of what RSS all is about, including some screenshots and the latest news and events. Now let's say I'm interested in what's going on in the maintenance of this project. So from here, I can go to the maintenance project area dashboard. And on this dashboard, I can see work items that are being worked on, the status of the builds, and recently modified work items. Oh, that's interesting. So there was a work item fix that is actually something that was very annoying for me. So let's go into this work item. And I can see from here that this work item was recently resolved. Let's take a look at the artifact links that are attached to this work item. I can see at the bottom here that there are some changes attached and that this work item is actually included in a specific build. So from here, I can actually check out the status of the build and it seems completed in green. So I go to the build and from here, I'm now actually able to go to the download page and download RSS Soul and benefit from this bug fix without having to wait for a full release. So this, this is pretty cool actually. Now let's see what's going on in the maintenance in terms of plans. So from here I go to the plans. I can see there is a 2.1 iteration, which seems like the main iteration. And we have a 2.0.5 release here, which is the next maintenance release. So I'm opening the plan. I can see there is a nice overview of the progress. I can see the team members that are actually working on this project. And I can see Benjamin has been very busy but is already done with all of his work and Ismail is still up to some tests that are left to be fixed. And at any time, if I'm interested to actually participate in the project, I click on the login or register link and I can actually create an account from here and, for instance, add some comment to the work items. Now, let's move over to the rich client. So here, now I'm in the rich client for Rational Team Concert and I'm now actually playing the role of Benjamin, so myself, as the team lead of the project. And what I'm typically doing here is I'm looking into my team central view on the left hand side to see what's going on in the project. And I do have another member in the team, Ismail, which is uh, currently working uh, in the maintenance team area, whereas I'm working in the development team area. And I can see there are some new news in my event log. So this is the first place where I would look for things that are happening in the project. And I can see that actually Ismail has pointed me to a review request that I have to do. So let's open this review request. So it seems that this is a major issue that Ismail is working on and it's planned for, th for the current 2.0.5 maintenance release. And in here I can see, hey, can you please review my code change? Now, I'm working in the development stream and I'm currently working on a specific feature. So in order to actually review the code changes that Ismail did, I have to switch my, my code somehow. But this is pretty easy in Rational Team Concert. What I can do is I can look at my current pending changes. So my workspace is actually connected to RSSO development, which is not the maintenance stream. I do have some outgoing work here that I can now easily suspend to actually be able to review the changes that Ismail did. So I suspend these changes 
And now my workspace is into a state where I can easily accept the change from Ismail and do a code review. So I go to the links page, see there is a change attached by Ismail. I can accept it into my workspace and actually do the compare editor now to see what is actually changed in here. So this is pretty cool. I don't have to change my stream just to do parallel uh, stream development. I can easily accept a change set and take a look and do the code review. What I can do also now is I can start the application with a change that Ismail attached and I can actually test this feature if it's uh, working as I would expect it to be. So let's say I'm giving the approval here, say things are all right. And the next time Ismail will load the event log, he will see that I actually gave the approval. So we are really using feeds as a measure actually of, of sending out events throughout Rational Team Concert. And now back to my pending changes, I can actually discard this change and resume the work I did before. And I can proceed with my normal development work uh, easily from here. Now, given that I'm the team lead, I might be interested in the actual progress of the current iteration in the maintenance area. So I do have a team load section here, which indicates that Ismail seems to be quite busy, but also he seems to be a little bit off the plan because this red here indicates that he's probably too busy for the time that is left. So let's open the plan from here. So as, as we saw it before on the web UI, I get the same overview here, nicely showing what tasks the developer have to do. And I can see here, Ismail seems to be really busy, but I think he will make it. So this will conclude the short demo I gave. We are now fully self-hosting on Rational Team Concert. If you're interested, you can go to rssl.org and from there go to our Rational Team Concert instance uh, to see what kind of artifacts we have put there. Thank you.